to another episode of Unches for Lunches. I'm your host, Kyle Lunch, and today we are going to be making huge coney dogs. Okay, I have Nathan's famous colossal quarter pound beef franks here. These, Nathan's, my opinion, one of the best hot dogs you can buy. These are a quarter pound. They're two and a half times bigger than your standard hot dog. So enough about the hot dogs. Let's get into the sauce. This is what I'm real excited about. Here I have a pound and a half of ground beef. This isn't just your ordinary ground beef. This is actually ground ribeye. It's ground steak. It's the best ground beef that you could possibly buy. So, with that being said, I'm gonna show you guys how to put all these ingredients together. The ketchup, the mustard, the pepper, the cumin, the chili powder, onion powder, garlic powder, salt, minced garlic, uh, tomato paste. We're gonna throw some Mexican style uh, chopped tomatoes in here and an onion. I'm gonna whip up all this together. We're gonna make some unbelievable Tony dogs. Let's jump right into it. All right, so this is pretty easy. We just uh, take some avocado oil or any oil with a high smoke temp and coat the pan generous amount, you know. Get the onions in there. This Land of Lakes garlic and herb butter, because I'm lazy and don't feel like making my own right now, and add a little bit. And the oil will help the butter from actually smoking up too much. Flavor the onions. We're gonna like half cook the onions and then we're gonna add the ground beef. The ground ribeye. It's even firmed up. Steak. Just gonna crumble it up in there. And a ground ribeye is good because it's got a lot of fat in it. And it crumbles real easy. Look at that. You know, you don't have to ch chop it up real fine with the spatula. The work's already done for you. Especially if you loosely grind it. So this actually, ooh, and add a little bit of avocado oil too. Just a little bit. All right, and while this is cooking, while this is browning a little bit, we're gonna go ahead and throw the uh, the seasonings together into a bowl. Okay, this is gonna be real easy. We're just literally gonna combine a little bit of everything into this bowl. We're gonna start with the sea salt. Just a little bit. You can always add more salt too at the end. That's the thing with the salt. You never wanna overdo it with the salt. Chili powder. Chili powder is very important. Don't be afraid to go a little bit crazy with the chili powder. This is some newer stuff. Yeah, actually. Yeah. Okay, then. Cumin. Don't go crazy with cumin either. Just a little bit. And I'm not going based on certain measurements and stuff like that. If you don't know, just do what I do. A little bit at a time. If you think you need more later, use it. Onion powder. Garlic powder. Pepper. You know, and if I had the grindable pepper, I'd use it, but I don't have it, so it doesn't matter. And that's all, folks. Take that, that's your chili powder rub. And before you add the seasoning, you want to drain what you got here. You want to drain the grease, all that oil. If you drain it afterwards, what you're going to do is drain all of your seasoning out, basically. So what I like to do is get a strainer, put it above a bowl, and there you get all your leftovers. Now we're gonna add the seasoning. Dump it in there, throw in our seasoning. That looks like an appropriate amount. Not too much, not too little. Don't forget, we got a lot more stuff we're gonna be throwing in too. Oh, we forgot the minced garlic. Okay, so in this bowl, we're just gonna put some ketchup. Good. Some tomato sauce. 15 ounce jar, about half. Some mustard. I love mustard, so. Mexican tomatoes and jalapenos. Ah, that's not that much. Some 
group. That's it. Give it a little stir. Gentle stir. You dump it right in there. And this is a lot of liquid, so we're gonna let it simmer. I'm thinking probably about an hour before we get the dogs on. We're just gonna let it do its thing, let the ground beef get to know the sauce, let them get acquainted with each other, and then I'll show you how to prep these dogs. Damn! That's coming together! Oh, she's a boy, man. Who told you? Alright, before we throw these dogs on the grill, we're gonna give them a little accent, a little touch, a little chef's touch. A lot of people don't do this, but you're gonna wanna put slits, just little slits, in the hot dog. You might say, why would you do that, Kyle? You wanna do it all the way around, so then rotate the dog. And you do this because as it cooks, you'll see later, these slits will open up into little crevices that the chili juice and seasonings and all that will just be able to absorb into. It gives a little bit of extra flavor to the hot dog and some texture. You know, like I said, chef's touch. So I'm gonna do this to all these and then we'll get them on the grill. <laughs> We're gonna pop them on the grill. You'll see how these things open up. dogs are done we're gonna plate them up take them inside oh my gosh we got a look at that black char on the outside the slits look amazing the corkscrew dog take them inside plate them up sloppy joe mix on top is basically what it is some spicy joes go let's assemble these dogs look at this chili sauce perfect consistency not too soupy, all of the liquids and the beer evaporated and then soaked into the beef. Perfect. All right, let's, let's get a couple of these bad boys. And some people might say, oh, those buns are a little bit big for the dogs. No, they're perfect size, actually, for the dogs. So that just leaves more room to fill the chili. So in this dog, what we're gonna do put the cheese on top. This dog, we're gonna put the cheese on bottom. We're gonna see which one we like more. Cheese on top is an okay method, but then usually, you know, it's best to apply maybe some heat afterwards. Like, I'm gonna put this one on the grill afterwards to get the cheese melty. This one, we're gonna do what we call the reverse melt. The reverse melt's fun, because actually you just put the cheese right on the bottom, And then you let the heat from the sauce melt the cheese. There's two different methods there. You can choose your favorite. Okay, just got back from the grill. Heated this one up a little bit. That's some melty cheese. It looks good. And all the cheese on this one, uh, she's still raw under there. I think the I think the method is definitely to to heat heat it up on the grill. You know what, we're gonna do that same thing with this one, and it's gonna be extra cheesy. Just put a little bit on top there. Get a nice melt on it. Then we'll try them out. Hey, cheers to Colossal Dogs. Try these wieners out. Colossal. Colossal wieners. Mmm. Uh... So oh, good. Jesus. You have to take a big bite. Ah. <laughs> it's so tasty though. It's delicious. That's it's like perfect. A, it's spicy sloppy joe. Very good. Like a spicy sloppy joe. Spicy joe. But better. Sleepy joe. Sleepy joe. Mmm. Because they're amazing. Unbelievable. Try it out. Until next time, perfect. we'll see you on another episode of Bunches for Lunches. Granddad. Maybe Matt will be there too.